Charles, if I have you some of that, yeah, great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight this again, just for sake of uh, showing you on the video. So I always draw the hairline with the wax pen, but you don't wanna put wax pen into someone's head, right? So I always mark that with the purple marker. Okay, and just doing this quickly, just to illustrate. At this point, I do a lot of this freehand, but I don't suggest new artists do any of this freehand. So anyway, we wipe away from the treatment, obviously. Okay, so we still have those, those uh, purple dots there, so I can see the hairline that I can trace, I can follow. Maybe just like 20 or 30 seconds around, I'm just working on the hairline here. So here we go. Let's see. So again, very spaced apart. This is where the art really comes in. This is a lot of ways open to interpretation on the artist. And again, you can always work in a build-up manner. If you just make sure you don't overdo it and always leave room to add more, it's really hard to make a mistake that way. I can't stress that enough. So very, very shallow with my impressions here, especially in the front. The skin's a little thinner. And obviously we want that very soft feathered look yeah, in the like front that. here. Right, not like mine. Can I show that? Of course. But this was done like, what, nine years ago? About six years ago, I got oh, the six extension years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the feather looks really nice. And then you can even put a couple more impressions outside. Just really want to stay away from that straight line look. Okay, perfect.